50th anniversary signage has gone up, went up yesterday. The world's most magical celebration. Um, we're back at Magic Kingdom. It is about 1.30. I had a busy morning. I don't know which video is gonna go up first. Depends which one I edit first. And we have made it. Dad is finally on vacation. And we are ready. He doesn't know what I was saying. And we are ready. We are heading into Adventureland. Let's see. Spring what rolls are out right at the entrance of Adventureland. We are stopping at Sunshine Tree Terrace for a little snack. Mom and Dad got the pot stickers and I got the chocolate ice cream, which is a very good size. I already started eating it because it's gonna melt and it's ice milk, which is what I like. Crowd updates. It is about two o'clock and this is definitely the most crowded. We have seen the parks. We are heading into Labor Day weekend. It is the Friday, so we were expecting this. We will see what it's like today and then kind of take it day by day. If it starts getting too crowded, we head out. But we are headed on to Tiki now. We need some air conditioning. From that, like we parked in Simba and it was a long walk to the front and a long walk through. That's always when you sweat the most. So we need air conditioning. Getting on pirates. Said it was a 15 minute wait and it was a legit walk on. We are about to sit on the boat. Minute wait, but it is very crowded, so I don't know how long we're lasting. to make the show, we just missed it. So, feel her magic time. For Mickey's, because Bradley loves TPM videos, and if you've never been in here, get ready for the surprise. When you enter, you see the giant. A lot of people miss him. There he is. And then you see Mickey right by the cash register. Back at the castle is the picture spot update it is 4 p.m. and we are heading out a little too crowded for us we made reservations for the boathouse which is the new one for us at Disney Springs so we're gonna head out to Disney Springs now uh, either just pop a squat and sit somewhere and relax go some shopping depends how crowded it is it is a Friday so but we have reservations so excited something new for us Parked the car really far away from Magic Kingdom from TTC. It was a pretty long walk. 
So dad was like, just take the, the bus to Disney Springs and I'll go get the car, being the gem that he is. Came to the buses, there is no bus to Disney Springs. So we're going to go to the Saratoga bus and either do the walk or then take the bus from there. Figured Saratoga is literally right there. So we're not going to a random resort to drive farther to then go back to Disney Springs. So that way we know we're close. And honestly, if we can get daddy, then maybe he'll pick us up at Saratoga. I don't know, we'll see. Let's see if we can get the, the bus just here for us. So that was not the best idea for us. Uh, we did the Saratoga bus. Uh, luckily it was right there when we got to um, the Magic Kingdom bus stop, so like we didn't have to wait for it, we jumped right on. But there was no seat, so we had to stand, and it's a bit of a, of a, of a hike. Uh, then we got off the first stop at Saratoga, got a seat for that, so that was good. So then you have to go to each Saratoga bus stop, because it's the most gigantic resort ever. We would have gotten lost in a heartbeat. Someone even did. They were like, we got off the wrong stop, so they like got back on, and then they went to their bus stop. So it took forever just to get around Saratoga. That took the longest. So at least we were sitting, I guess, but. So if you think you're gonna save time, you're not. Yeah, just... daddy beat us here. Yeah, don't even bother. But it's because I didn't realize the Disney Springs bus wasn't at Magic Kingdom. So that was, that was. Mom and I are heading into World of Disney. It's cracking me up. It is so 90s. Like this is what everything used to look like in the 90s. All of the characters spelled to the words. So the World of Disney looks so different from when I was a kid, that they just changed recently. But just so much more open, so I don't feel like it looks as big anymore. The other one was like a thousand different rooms, so I felt like it looked bigger. This is just an open layout. I don't know. But it's a much cleaner look. Disney Springs is now very sophisticated. Like just walking in, like the music was very sophisticated. But when they made Downtown Disney, it was like, let's party. Yeah, so just a different vibe now. Our dinner reservations for tonight are at the boathouse. It's the first for us. Excited. I already picked out what I want to eat, and it looks delicious. Butter. I got the Caesar salad. Lobster bisque. Kristen and Ethan both got the lobster bisque. And it comes with oyster crackers. Then I got the garden salad. I got the filet mignon sliders. Comes with two sliders and fries. Kristen got the lobster roll. Got the lobster tail. Daddy got the ribeye. Crab cake. four years because she just keeps getting it she's like I don't like this um, I prefer it with just the lobster and butter 
So the one at Food and Wine, I think, was much better and more flavorful. I had the lobster, and you can never go wrong with lobster. So, was... but the asparagus <laughs> was gigantic. Yeah, the asparagus is. We like thin. Like we like thin good. asparagus. But the lobster was excellent. The steak was good. Should have been on the bone, but it was good. Potatoes. They're just I had a basic good meal. potatoes. I had a good meal with my family. Good time. Uh, yeah. All good. I had the sliders and they were real good. Uh, super cheap for filet mignon sliders. They were $14. Came with french fries, a ton of french fries. And I didn't get to say how I wanted the steak cooked. I'm not sure if she just didn't, forgot to ask me or if like you can't ask and then I forgot. But it was like um, a medium rare I would say. I like my steak rare, but it was good. It didn't need a sauce. They had very, very little thing of butter. But like an aioli sauce would have been good or some type of sauce and he needed some some flavor. But overall I enjoyed it. It was a gigantic place. So many different rooms. It was cute. Alright, like we really wanted the, the cookie, but the line was whew. So we're going over to Sprinkles. Let's yeah, check out. They got a cookie. It's not, not the, same. the same. Dark chocolate. Oh yeah. You would like that. No, she likes dark chocolate. I like dark chocolate. But is it a sugar-free red thing? We can go inside too. No, it's crowded. Oh yeah, there's people in there. Dark chocolate. Caitlin, you want one? Hey, are you cooking down here? Oh, it's cool. Oh, Fred, door will open. There you go. Oh, there it is. Like that, another day has come to an end. I started my morning very hectic. I got about, I don't even know at this point, 30,000 steps probably by the end of the day. So I'm tired. I don't know which video will go up first, um, but I did a video of my favorite picture spots at Universal. So it was either before this or after. And then we went to Magic Kingdom. It was a little too crowded for us, so we didn't do much. And then we came to Disney Springs for dinner at Boathouse, which was real good. Uh, expensive though, so <laughs> probably be a while before we like it was like a treat. Uh, mine wasn't shockingly, uh, they were nice sized steaks. I don't know how big do you think those were. I don't know, but it was like, like two, three ounces, like sliders, yeah. yeah, like three ounces each. So, like a six ounce filet mignon with french fries for 14 bucks. So, there is options on the menu that are cheaper uh, but like mops and dads are obviously on the high end. My lobster was $52. Yeah. But it's lobster and you're in Disney so like you gotta expect that. But it was a good day and with that I say